Hi. In the last two videos I did the CAD and the CAM for my fixture plate. Uh, now I'm going to be doing the actual machining of it. All right. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is uh, ref all home. Then I'm going to install my uh, probe here, my edge finder to find zero. And I'm going to put tool 1 in there, because that's what my finder is, is tool 1. And then I'm going to make sure it's clean so I'm not picking up. If you got little bits of uh, shavings on there, could actually conduct through there and give you a, a wrong location. So, I'm gonna go down, go to incremental. All right, I'm gonna set uh, Z zero, then go back up, over, and down. Okay, and I'm going to go to offsets and select over here for that side. Around the corner here. Actually, I'm going to clean that off a little bit. All right. You can actually adjust how fast it's going by how much you're pushing on the button. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on this, I have a, another video about the Xbox controller to control the mill. How to set it up and all. Okay, and I'm going to go over here and select there. And then I'll pull off here a little bit and go up. Okay, now I'm going to take this tool out. Now I'm going to go ahead and load the G-code. Uh, for this particular operation. Um, the uh, the tolerances on this job, I mean, I could uh, make everything perfect on here, uh, but uh, the tolerance on this particular kind of part isn't really all that critical. Uh, the edges on this are actually uh, pretty good, so I'm just going to go with it like that. Uh, so I'm going to go to Run Program, and I'm going to load the G-code. And in machining, I will go to fixture plate 1 dash 1. That's the one I want right there. And go ahead and open. And then I'm going to click cycle start. That is asking me for my center drill. So I'll stick the center drill in. Okay, I'll turn that on.
Click OK. And cycle start. Uh, I can turn that off. Alright. And I will uh, change the uh, tool. It's actually prompting, it's an M1 there, that's, uh, I think it's a programmed stop. Uh, check the M codes. Uh, you can see the M1 there. Uh, M codes. Program stop, optional program stop. Uh, I guess the program has just set it up. Um, a Fusion 360 has put an, uh, a stop in there. I uh, don't really need it, but because uh, I've got this uh, M6 uh, tool change in there. So we'll just click uh, cycle start. And it'll ask me for my, for tool number eight, which is my. Uh, drill that I use for uh, tapping a uh, quarter 20. And I'll go ahead and stick this one in there. And uh, turn that on. And I will click uh, OK. And cycle start. All right, well, the next thing to do is to do the uh, the spiral drill. So I will, it's on that M1 again. So I will uh, click cycle start. And time for the uh, 3 8 end mill. Okay, three eighths end mill still looks pretty sharp. Okay, I'm going to uh, put that at uh, 2500 RPMs. Oh. I'll take the pin out. Okay. Looks like OK. And cycle start.
Okay, well that is the uh, the end. Let me uh, take this thing out. Looks like I gouged into it a little bit right there, but uh, I don't think it's going to win any beauty prizes, but uh, it's going to do what I need it to do. Um, let me get the... Uh, Oh, actually, I got one more thing to do. I've got to uh, drill the um, or tap the holes in these. So let me get that set up. Okay, well, the machining's all done. Uh, now I just have to do the uh, tap the holes uh, for the screws. I've actually tapped two already. I just have to do the last one here. Uh, I'm actually using one of these uh, gun type taps, uh, so you don't have to keep you know going in and out with it. So I'm going to start off with putting some uh, tapping paste on there. Uh, I think I got this from a little machine shop. Um, just put that on there. And I believe I also got this tapping guide from them. This is like the, the economy one, I think. Uh, either from them or McMaster Car, I forget, but... Um, you can actually drill, this is a three-quarter inch aluminum, and you can tap this thing all the way through in one shot. I'll, uh, show you here. Okay, put it through the guide. Put it on the, the hole right there. And, ready... Go. All right, through. Back it out. And clean it up. And the screw, as you can see, will go straight in. No cleaning or anything in there. So that works pretty darn good right there. Okay. Uh, but I have to clean this in between shots. It's, uh, or between taps, I should say. Um, and I take the, a wire brush to it like this to kind of clean the big things that don't come out, don't come off too easy, so. All right, well, that's it for that fixture plate. Um, basically, uh, these shoulder bolts will go through here. This is machined to within tolerances. There's a hair play in there, um, but that fits right in there. That one goes in there. And these will actually go into the, the, uh, the holes on my tooling plate to hold it in place. And the screws... Go in here like this. And with the amount of shoulder that's on there, I can actually take quarter inch steel plates. I'll get rid of those. And slide those, those rest up against the shoulders of those. And I can actually tighten these down. To hold that in place. Yeah. This. That holds it right up against the edge there, and it holds in there really strong. 
All right, well, that's it for this tooling plate. All right, uh, I think I'm probably going to do another video on the tooling plate, on uh, setting it up on the uh, on the mill itself, uh, screwing it down, and actually setting up in uh, in uh, Fusion 360 uh, to actually be able to mount parts on here. So, all right.